Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Restock straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of D DX, Gogo Gatai Siren Builder. This is actually from the Gogo Sentai Bokenger series. Uh, the th and uh, I'll show you in the box, it's actually the 30th Super Sentai series by Ser uh, Toei. And I'm just going to go show you the box real quick. This is a big dude actually. He's a fire <laughs> truck I believe, for lack of a better term. And there it is. I'll show you what I'm talking about. They're very proud about that. The 30th Super Sentai series from Toei, uh, makers of Power Rangers. So when you hear that, the Sentai, there you go. This is Siren Builder. Here's the side of the box. It has different modes. You got three little cars. So Gogu, yeah, I forgot. I forgot what the name of these things are, but that's okay. I'll find it in the back. That's because it's in the back right here. I'll show you right here. Look how nice that is. Uh, little police car and the little rider. I forgot that and of course the big fire truck for, again for lack of a better term it actually has an intermediate mode and this mode over here and it has little flashing lights and gimmicks which I will turn off because they annoy me to no end all right let's go ahead and take a look at these and of course you got the go go police the go 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 aider and go 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 yeah this is the go go police so let me go ahead and show you these. move that they roll well enough so there you go number Number 12 is the Gogo Aider. This is the Gogo Police right here, right in front of me. Number 13, Gogo Police. And as you can see, this is where he actually attaches to. So, hey, it rolls right enough. It has colors. It, it, that's all it does is rolls around. So, this is Gogo Aider. Aider. <laughs> Number 12 over here, six wheels, red, white. So, hey, nice little light piping. Yeah, the usual things, right? So, but let's get to the main gimmick. And this guy has some decent die cast on. There's no doubt about that. Number 11. The Go Go Fire. It has these little things over here. I really don't know what they're for. They pop out. And unfortunately, I only have one of these little things. And I don't know what that was, but it fell off. Oh, yeah, I forgot. That's the cover for the batteries. And of course, I have the little crane, crane low motion over here, made with you know, gold, gold, silver, and of course, the gray. Nice red. And it has a little siren action over here. It does light up. And it gets annoying after a while. But that's okay. Big little, big looking thing over here. Big go go fire from the back over here. That's where they attach. You can actually hit the switch to turn off this thing. So let me go ahead. Uh, this is pretty much it. So yeah, he rolls around to compare with the others over here. There you go. Uh, what can I say? Let's get him into his intermediate mode, which is kind of weird. What can I say? Not that I'm uh, making mention of this. All you have to do. And man, this thing irritates me to do a veil when Yeah, it starts beeping like that. And at this point, I just shut it off. Because it will just continue to do that. There is the intermediate mode right there. No, don't really know what that's for. But all you have to do now is put the little Gogo go -Go Eider and the Gogo -Go Police Dude on the side over here. What that does, I have no idea. But let's go ahead and show you more details now that we have it. There's a little landing dock over here, and of course, yeah, weird looking thing. Just want to show you the detail in there. Yeah, I got the battery cover off, so you, nice deep red over here. The uh, symbol over here, and whatever this is. So I just wanted to show you a quick detail of what that looks like. It's a shame I don't have the other crane over here, but this is what makes it awesome. And for transformation to the, the robot, really simple. It gets a little nice automorph. There we go. So just flip this portion up and over. And guess what? The head, all you have to do is just pop it up. There we go. Look at the detail on that boy right there. Nice gold finish or no, blue eye, red eyes, blue finish over here. And this little siren thing over here moves up and down. Yeah, it's kind of weird, but what can you say? As for the arms, you just have to click them. Just like that. And you have the molded fist action right there. And let me see. Go hit the switch over here. Yeah, he's armed now. Put this horn back. Let's see what the old boy says. Uh, he doesn't come with any other weapons. This is all he got. Uh, what, what other things did he say? Yeah, that's about it. Nothing special. Let me go ahead and light up the LEDs again. So yeah, it's kind of neat. Other than that, you know, hey, this thing's a brick. 
Of course, the little crane action still moves. Articulation is pretty much limited to his arms. That's it. Hey, he's a brick. What can I say? They're meant for kids, right? <laughs> of which I'm one. There he is with Megatron. So he's slightly bigger. I'd say he's about nine inches tall. Let's get him with my boy Optimus Prime. Oh, shoot, man. He's probably more than the 10 inch scale. And that's all right. That's okay. Oh, well, like I said, he's a break, but but the coolness factor of the boy being so deep and red and whatnot. Oh man, I can't, I can't, I can't say enough about good things about this boy. I'll give him a seven out of ten. Is he worth the money? Probably not. He's kind of expensive. You can get him about sixty-five bucks at Amazon, which isn't too bad, I guess. All right, YouTubers, that's all I got, and I catch you all next time.